All right, so some rain put a little damper on the CBCA in Little Pine this weekend, but they're hoping to kind of make up for some lost time. Matt Schumacher joining me on the desk, and you have more from this weekend. Yeah, that's right. Uh, like you said before, a uh, little bit of rain on uh, Friday. They got that going on Sunday with day two, and uh, some pretty fast times. Let's check them out. Let's go right to the final heat. BJ Carey on barrel two in between Shane and Vern Nolan. Carey comes out of the barrels in a hurry, taking the lead into the first couple turns. Coming down the stretch though, Vern Nolan makes things interesting, but just coming up short, Carey would clock in with the fastest time of the day with a 115.56. Shane Nolan is your day two aggregate leader with a time of 2.3475. It's just been that uh, nice outfit that I've been driving. They're really working good and really running good. Tonight, Dewey got, got the trip three wide, but that's to be expected on three brill. Those are tough wagons. I'm in the last seat, so um, tomorrow we get one. Track was got faster. Uh, it will get faster tomorrow, too, if we have no more rain or if it gets not winter wetter. So um, just have to try and uh, stay clean and, and uh, shoot for the rail again. The CPC is hoping to get the final day of racing in tonight at 6.30, pending on the weather. The Lee Park Pro Rodeo wrapped up on Sunday, and for three brothers, the rodeo was a backed off for some friendly sibling rivalry. The Milan brothers, Tanner, Bailey, and Straws are all steer wrestlers on top of their game, and the boys are quick to thank one another for their success. Yeah, yeah! Oh, ten Tanner Milan handles that steer with quite the ease. He's been doing this for years. In fact, the rodeo is a way of life for him and his family. His two brothers and his father are all steer wrestlers. Just the help and support mom and dad's give us over the years, you know, that damn sure helps and um, just couldn't do it without them, you know, and just very blessed to have my parents behind me like they are. My dad was a steer wrestler. He rodeoed and I mean, I always followed dad around, went to the rodeos with him and uh, my brothers, they both did it. I grew up around it my whole, since I was little, my dad done it and uh, just, just kind of fell into it and went from there. There is no sibling rivalry when it comes to the brothers. They're all in it together, making sure each one of them builds on previous success. The boys, who grew up in Cochrane, have all been to the Canadian Finals Rodeo several times. Now, one of the biggest accomplishments was at the Calgary Stampede. My brothers have been very successful with it. Uh, youngest brother, Straws, is, uh, he won the 100000 at the Calgary Stampede in 2011. I don't even know if there's a word to explain how it felt. I mean, it was, never, it was the best day of my life, for sure. <laughs> And for these steer wrestlers, making sure they represent the Milan family name well is what matters most. To see your brothers do that, and you grew you grew up with them guys, and we've rooted rooted one another on our whole lives, and to to see them do that, that was that was unreal. You know, having your brothers there and supporting you and cheering you on, it's sure nice and gives you a little more boost, and damn sure seem to do better when your brothers are there cheering you on and helping you out. Naramanisa, New Cap Sports. Let's move on to some baseball now as there are three games on tonight's NSRBL schedule, including a couple teams from right here in the border city. At the Legion Ballpark, you have the Midgets who are coming off their first win of the season, taking on the Wilkie Brewers. First pitch is at 6.30. Elsewhere, the juniors hit the road as they head to North Battleford to take on the Beavers. And finally, in, the, in Standard Hill, the Lakers are facing Mervyn. The Flyers hoping to get their first win of the season. Now, hopefully the rain does not shut these games down. And quickly, the Lashburn Lucky Ladies rugby team were in Saskatoon over the weekend for Provincials. The girls walked away with a bronze medal after beating the Saskatoon Razorbacks 22 to nothing. And the Holy Rosary Raiders track and field team were in Calgary for Provincials as well. 11 athletes from Holy participated. Jenna Mirth came back to the border city with a silver medal in the triple jump. And that is all the time now for sports right now. Stay tuned, Gerard has your weather details next. UFC 161 is set for this Saturday at the MTS Center in Winnipeg. The main event has Rashad Evans going head-to-head -head against Dan Henderson. But before all of that, you have Mitch Clark looking for his first ever UFC victory as he faces John McGuire. Getting ready to make his third appearance in the UFC, Mitch Clark spent the last month and a half in Arizona training at the MMA Lab. That was Clark's second time preparing for a fight at the Lab and feels this time around it has changed on how he approaches his way going into a fight. It really gave me a new perspective on uh, being at training camp and to be happy 
and to uh, you know just everything was was went very very well. I was very happy with how uh, my training went. Looking to improve on his stamina, the lightweight also changed the way on how he trains with his partners, getting more aggressive during his sessions. In sparring days, it was it was one of those times where we kind of changed it to where it's time to put the hurt on people. So that's what we kind of changed this time is is you know a little bit more aggressive time to fight a little bit meaner and and uh time to win this fight on saturday clark will have john crouch in his corner clark says it's important to have a guy like crouch coaching him during his fight i really like john he's a great guy i'm really happy he's coming up to uh to cormier having john there is really important he's really been a part of this whole process of me changing as a as a fighter and basically as a, as a person Clark goes head to head against England's John McGuire. McGuire, who usually fights at 170, has dropped down to take this fight. Clark, who is fighting for his life to stay in the UFC, feels his opponent might be taking him a little lightly. I think he's kind of underestimating me a little bit. You know, A, he's coming down from 170. He thinks he's just going to be stronger than me. I'm not really a weak guy at 155. I'm pretty big, uh, lightweight. And, you know, I think he's underestimating my size and my strength. 